Well, this has been quite a project so far. Got the 6.2 diesel there. Got a uh, 6.5 turbo for it over there. And uh, it's an NV4500 5 speed advanced adapters to the uh, Toyota transfer case. I have the advanced adapters bell housing too. That's in there. And there's the uh, new cross member, also advanced adapters, blah blah blah. Uh, in order for the steering to clear, um, I'm having to put in a different steering box. The old steering box, there, that's the whole shaft, it's part of the box on these Land Cruisers. Um, mounted on that pedal stool there, and the exhaust manifold didn't clear it. It hit it. Uh, it needed to come over another inch um, to get the motor where it needed to be. So had to do away with that setup. And I'm in the process of mounting a Scout 2 box. This is off an International Scout 2. Um, boy, this box was not easy to get a hold of. Uh, finally got it though. And I've had to clearance the uh, shock mount to get this box in here. And I'll have to obviously do a custom shaft and whatnot. And uh, let's see, right now I've got it bolted in there. They are tight right now. They're very tight right now. And I'm going to start uh, mocking up for the backing just show you in a minute, but uh, basically going to have a pitman arm come off here and it should end up right about here and as you can see the stock one is right there I'm going to eliminate this whole arm setup and extra linkage that used to be here the, so all I have to do is make this arm longer to come to the uh, pitman arm and that's it other than that cut this out of the frame because well there wasn't any way to really secure that like that so anyway so I'm in the process of uh, mocking up for a backing plate here and the other problem I ran into was the splines on this are gone so can't use that shaft anymore anyways not even modify it so if you can see it there this is a steering column out of a 1979 and I'm going to use that and modify it to fit this uh, there you are